Today's recipe is going to be Armini, which is a French buttercream frosting. Um, I demonstrated in one video how to make the yellow cake. Um, so now this video is just the Armini frosting. It was typically used for red velvet cakes, but you can use this for about any cake. This frosting is a cooked roux, which is the milk and the butter that has the sugar and also vanilla extract, and then it's whipped into the butter. Um, it's very easy to make. You just follow this recipe closely and you won't make any mistakes. So you'll be able to find all the amounts of ingredients you need for this recipe in the description box below, as well as in the description that pops up in the video. So let's go ahead and start this recipe. Here in this bowl I have uh, five tablespoons of all-purpose flour and one cup of granulated sugar and a pinch of salt. And I'm just whisking this all together just to make sure there's no lumps. So now we're off to the stove. So I'm going to add to my pot here um, one cup of whole milk. Don't use anything less than whole milk. It won't come out right. And I'm just heating the milk here and I'm going to slowly add some of the flour and sugar mix here. Adding a little bit of time keeps you from getting lumps. And also make sure you're dumping it in the center of your mix. Just to keep you from getting any of this flour and sugar on the edges of the inside of the pot towards the bottom of it. And I have this on a high flame. So the milk is getting hot and you can tell because everything is dissolving quickly as I'm adding it. He is to add a little at a time. So see, there's none of this mixture here towards the bottom edges of my pot. I don't know if you can see all that. But I'm just going to keep whisking. Now I'm going to add to this teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to add a little bit more because I like the flavor of vanilla. So now I'm just going to keep whisking this. It's going to become very thick. I'm just constantly checking the edges of the bottom of my pot here for final time. Everything's good. So it's starting to get thick. It's not at the stage where we want it to be at yet. But it is getting thicker. So be sure to scrape the edges of the top really well. I'm about to switch to a wooden spoon. Just to ensure that I do get the edges of the pot very well. And you see how it's starting to thicken up here? So I'm going to turn the heat down. This has been going for about three to four minutes. Okay. It's becoming like a very thick pudding. I'm going to cook this for one more minute. And um, we'll be back. So constantly stir this. So this is done. You see how it looks? It's like a thick pudding. It's extremely smooth. There's no um, flour or milk stuck to the bottom of my pot at all because of the way we dissolved this at the beginning. 
So I'm going to pour this into a bowl and cover this with plastic wrap and stick this into the refrigerator for about an hour. We want this to cool. So I have my mixer fitted with the whip attachment and I'm just going to peel my plastic off the top of my milk mixture on my roux. You cover this tightly with the plastic because you don't want a film to develop on top of this mixture. My mixture is a little brown in color because of the vanilla. I use extra vanilla but usually this is supposed to lighten up when it's whipped. So, so now I'm going to whip this. So this has been going for about two minutes and now you see it's very whip it's um loosened up a bit so now i'm going to add the butter to this a tablespoon at a time or it's a half a tablespoon at a time don't dump all the butter in at one time And once you see all the butter dissolved, then you add the next dot of butter. So just keep repeating this process. Be sure all the butter is well combined before you add your next dot of butter. So I'm adding this, I cut this into little rectangles. This is um, half a tablespoon each. So I just want to show you the progress of this. I'm almost done adding all the butter. I got uh, just finished with the half a cup. And you see it's really thickened up here a lot. So when you taste the initial mixture, it's going to taste very sweet. But um, because of the butter, it's going to lighten the flavor a lot. So this is it. I'm going to um, let this sit in the fridge for a few minutes to kind of firm up a bit so I can pipe it into my cake. But this is very delicious. And I'm not doing roses, this is just a little swirl. Yeah, my hands are pretty hot and this frosting is holding up amazing while I'm piping it. I just didn't pack it in there so well and I'm having a lot of air bubbles. So this is um, one of the cupcakes. I just want to show you what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to just pull this apart so you guys can see that this cake is very moist. And see the inside of it? It's very moist. You can tell that this is not a cornbread type of texture. This is um, very delicious. It's very moist. Um, the flavor of the vanilla is perfect and the frosting is not too sweet. <clears throat> I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse.